I'm about to meet Mike Jakubowski for a project in the bathroom. But before we could get started, he sent me to Ace Hardware to pick up the supplies. So Mike, I made it back from Ace Hardware with this humidity sensor, but I noticed you have a fan motor in your hand. Yeah, the, uh, mo the original motor in the exhaust fan for the bathroom isn't doing what it's supposed to anymore. It's worn out and uh, we're just gonna replace the motor. So you don't have to place, replace the entire fan. And I mean, if the fan is not working properly, that could lead to a huge problem. It can, uh, mold can build up in your bathroom. Typically, when someone goes to take a shower, they turn the fan on and then when you leave the bathroom, you turn off the fan, which is the worst thing to do because the humidity hasn't left. Yeah. You just left. Yeah. So the humidistat's gonna keep running, keep the fan running, uh, until the humidity level in this particular room is at a safe level. And, and you assure me this is pretty easy to change. Yeah, it's, it's a plug, so we don't have to do any wiring. So you're saying it's Ryan, <laughs> Ryan can do this, right? This is perfect this. for you. We don't need many supplies for this project. Just a new motor and fan, a humidistat, a screwdriver, lineman's pliers, and a drill. And since our fan was already secured with torque screws, we need a torque bit. What's the first step of this project? Uh, we have to climb up onto the toilet, okay. take off the fan cover. Let's do it. Okay. I noticed a lot of dust build up in there. Uh, yeah, well that's part of the problem with the fan itself, is that over time, who cleans out their exhaust fan, right? I mean, I don't and I know better. So the motor gets gunked up, it just doesn't spin as fast as it should. Next, Mike uses the drill to detach the bolts that secure the frame, and we remove the motor and fan. After feeding the new motor through the frame, we screw the bolts back on and then tighten with the drill. Then, we click the new fan on and plug it back into the duct. Finally, we put the cover back on, and it looks like we have ourselves a new fan. Since we have the fan all tip top ready to go, might as well install this humidity sensor while we're at it. Right, we're gonna take out the switch that turns on the fan and replace it with a humidistat. Okay, simple as that, let's do it. All right. So Mike, we we're able to turn the power off, which is the most important part of this project, and now we're ready to dig into this outlet. Right, we're gonna take the switch uh, for the fan and replace it with a humidistat. This will allow the fan to run after you leave the bathroom. Um, and empty out all the humidity in here. So Mike, does this go in just like an ordinary switch or no? Uh, it does, except it requires a neutral hooked up to the humidistat, which is the basically the white wire. So the power is gonna come into the switch, the power will go out of the switch, that circular motion of electricity, you're interrupting it with a switch. The humidistat requires power to be on constantly. For part two of this project, we start by taking the cover plate off. So we've got the hot coming out, this is going to go out to the fan, but we have to pull um, a pigtail and add it into that uh, so that the humidistat itself has power continually. Our wiring is pretty straightforward. First, we unscrew the wiring to the switch. Mike then adds a pigtail to the neutral white wire to connect it to the humidistat. It's also important that you identify the humidistat screws to ensure that you're wiring correctly. The black screw is for the hot wire, the silver is for the neutral wire, and the red or pink is for the fan wire. For our humidistat, Mike connects the pink wire to the pink screw, white wire to the silver screw, and black wire to the black screw. All right, Mike, we're all connected, right? Let's put it back in and call it a day. Okay. We screw in the humidistat and attach the cover plate. Now, it's time for the final test. We turn the power back on, success. So Mike, our fan's all done, our humidistat is in, and it's one of those DIY projects that don't cost a lot of money. No, not at all. The cost of the switch and the cost of the motor, which are pennies compared to um, replacing the entire fan. And now it's going to protect us from mold, mildew, things like that. Absolutely.